Hi, I'm Rudy Winston from Canon USA. In our last episode, we introduced the video features of the EOS 77D camera, especially how to work with its touchscreen interface and the choices you have with its outstanding dual pixel CMOS autofocus. Let me repeat, this AF technology can change the whole video recording experience for many one-person camera operators. It's that important. In the next few minutes, we'll look a bit more closely at other aspects of video shooting with the 77D. Let's touch on basic exposure control first. There are two options for video. Exposure can be fully automatic with the camera setting your ISO, video shutter speed, and lens aperture. Or you can set video exposure completely manually. For automatic exposure, just set the mode dial anywhere other than M or the SCN setting. In effect, it's like program auto exposure when you shoot still images. Remember, ISO is always automatic for auto exposure with video. As with still image shooting, if your mode dial is set to a creative zone mode other than M, such as the TV, AV, or P settings, you have access to two important exposure control features for video. One is auto exposure lock. Press the back button with the asterisk icon and you can lock the exposure at the current level. A little asterisk icon appears on screen at the bottom. Press the adjacent AF point select button to clear AE lock and return to live auto exposure. And with the mode dial in a creative zone setting, you have access to exposure compensation. Turn the rear quick control dial and you can immediately lighten or darken exposure even during actual video recording. Here's something really cool. While you're recording, turning the dial would make an audible sound, which might get picked up by a microphone. So you can tap the plus minus icon on screen and then touch either a minus or plus box on the LCD to change exposure in one third stop increments for each push. Or just hold your finger on the same box and the change is made steadily and silently. The other primary exposure option you have is full manual exposure control. The most important reason a seasoned video shooter uses manual is so that exposure levels don't change as the camera is moved across a scene or to follow a subject. Turn the mode dial to the M setting and you're there. Then use the on-screen indicators to adjust shutter speed, lens aperture, and ISO. These can all be changed silently during actual recording if you need to. Push the shutter button halfway down to temporarily display an analog meter scale on screen, or press the info button repeatedly to display a live histogram before recording begins. Shaky video is usually the last thing you want in your footage, especially if you have to walk or even jog to keep up with a subject as you record video, you need a helping hand to keep it steady. The EOS 77D has just that, Movie Digital IS. This works in addition to any image stabilization you may have in your lens and is especially effective for the big movements that come with walking or even running as you record video. It provides extensive five axis stabilization, moving the image on the actual CMOS sensor. It's off by default, but you can activate it via the Q icon and the stabilization icon on the left of the screen. Be aware that either the enable or enhanced settings do crop the video image, but what you see on the LCD monitor will be correct. Try this the next time you have to record video while you're on the move. Detailed settings for image quality matter as much with video as they do with still images. Remember, video files are fully processed in camera, sort of like a JPEG file when you shoot stills. So you want your white balance and other settings to be as close to correct as you can, rather than hoping to correct them later in the computer. White balance with video works exactly as it does with still images, except you can access it with the silent Q icon on the screen. Press it and tap the second right side icon to display your choices. As you change from one to another, 
the camera will update the screen to give you a good idea of what each setting will do. In the actual menu, you also have the option to do further white balance correction. Another huge setting for video is picture style. Many photographers just leave this at standard, and sometimes this is a problem for video. If you find that your tones are too harsh when you shoot in bright sunlight or indoors, try switching to neutral. You can then press the Info button to go into the detail settings and boost sharpening, further reduce or increase contrast, and so on. Keep this in mind as you get further into video content creation. Also, if you dial in a particular picture style for video, it stays active when you set the camera back to still image shooting. In bright light, another setting to consider is highlight tone priority. This can help minimize problems with bright parts of a scene or subject washing out and losing detail. Turn it on in your custom functions menu. On the EOS 77D, that's custom function number four. There's another way to record video which reduces contrast and blown out highlights, and that's to activate the EOS 77D's HDR video. That's high dynamic range video, and it's recorded at 60 frames per second, with every other frame being deliberately underexposed. Then the camera processes your file into a finished 30 frames per second final video, using the darker information to reduce excessive brightness of highlights. This is a bit of a hidden feature. To use HDR video, first be sure that the main on-off switch is set for video shooting. Then turn the mode dial to the SCN or special scene setting. Unlike with stills, this HDR setting is the only option when you combine video with the SCN mode. It's always full auto exposure with exposure compensation disabled. Even though it limits user applied control, HDR video may be the most effective in-camera tool to reduce contrast in harsh lighting. You may want to concentrate on still images, but still need to get some video from an event. Or you may want a way to combine different short video clips into one finished video without editing at the computer. Either way, keep video snapshot in mind. You can activate this in the fifth red shooting menu if the camera has been preset for video recording. Video snapshot records a two, four, or eight second video clip each time you press the start button and stops automatically after that time. Each clip is saved in what Canon calls an album, with the option for you to discard it if you don't want to save it after all. Every time you press the start button again, a new short clip is added. The key thing about video snapshot is that the camera combines each short video in an album into one finished video file. No computer editing is necessary. To go back to recording each video file for as long as you want, simply disable video snapshot in the menu. When you need some quick video clips to show multiple views of a subject, remember the video snapshot feature on the EOS 77D. We've all seen what look like high speed video effects from clouds racing overhead to buildings rising before our eyes. Time-lapse video makes it possible. This is another one you'll find in the fifth red shooting menu. Once you enable time-lapse video, you can set an interval of time between each video frame from one second to almost 100 hours. That's over four days. You can also set the total number of video frames you want to include. Here's a cool feature. The screen calculates how long it'll take to record at that interval and how long a finished video will run when played back. This can be another neat way to set your videos apart from the next photographer and grow your multimedia offerings. There may be times where you want to start and stop the camera, but either cannot or don't want to touch a button. You can wirelessly start and stop video with either of two optional Canon remote controllers. There's the small infrared Canon remote controller RC6 or the Bluetooth Canon Wireless Remote Control BRE1. 
They're available as separate accessories at your dealer. There's another remote control option for video as well. With the 77D's built-in Wi-Fi, you can use Canon's Camera Connect app in your smartphone to start and stop video recording up to almost 50 feet away. To sum it up, knowledge is power. And while the EOS 77D doesn't have all the bells and whistles of high-end Canon DSLRs, its video features and most importantly, the amount of control it does offer make it an excellent way to raise both your photography and video creation skills. Understand the features you have available and reach for them whenever they may help you get the video results you're after. For Canon USA, I'm Rudy Winston. Thanks again for joining us.